Hi, I'm Darwin and welcome again to my Learn Hub um, for week six in clinical kinesiology. Um, I will be palpating on three muscles, um, the gluteus maximus, gluteus medius, and glute gluteus minimus. So the gluteus maximus is the biggest muscle that I'll be uh, palpating and it's um, responsible for um, extending the hip. Um, when you do that motion, the, mus the muscle is immediately activated and it's very superficial and it's very easy to palpate it at that point. Um, aside from extending the hip, it is also um, responsible for laterally rotating the hip and abducting the hip. Now the gluteus maximus originates at the, the coccyx, um, it's at the edge of the sacrum, um, posterior to the iliac crest, and um, at the sacrotuberous and sacroiliac ligament. Um, so all of the gluteus maximus fibers um, converge down um, laterally going towards the greater trochanter area. Um, but the actual insertion of the upper fiber is at the iliotibial tract. Um, the lower fibers of the gluteus maximus is at the gluteal tuberosity. Um, the second muscle, which is right underneath the gluteus maximus, uh, that's the gluteus medius. So the gluteus medius is responsible for um, abducting the hip because it's it's really right on the side of the hip, and on the side, um, more lateral compared to the, compared to the, um, the orientation of the, the gluteus maximus. It covers um, more of the back and the side. The gluteus medius is just a portion of the. Um, of the gluteus uh, maximus, um, it's and it's more on the more on the lateral side of the of the the ilium. Um, so aside from abducting the hip, the anterior fibers of the gluteus medius is responsible for for flexing the hip. It helps in flexing the hip and immediately rotating the hip. The posterior fibers of the um, gluteus medius is responsible for extending the hip and laterally rotating the hip. So it's the opposite of what the anterior fiber um, fibers does. The origin of um, the gluteus medius is at the gluteal surface of the ilium and it's between the posterior and the uh, anterior gluteal lines just below the iliac crest. Um, Insertion is at the lateral aspect of the greater trochanter. It's right at the hip, right there at the hip. The third muscle is gluteus minimus. It's the smallest muscle of the three that I'll be palpating. It's responsible for abducting the hip and medially rotating the hip. It also helps in flexing the hip. So it's kind of the same it kind of functions the same way as the anterior fibers of the gluteus medius. So the origin of the gluteus minimus is the same origin as the, pretty much the same origin as the glute, gluteus minimus. It's uh, located at the gluteal surface of the ilium between the anterior and ter inferior gluteal lines and it inserts on the anterior aspect of the greater trochanter. So if the gluteus medius is on the lateral side of the greater trochanter, the gluteus minimus is on the anterior side, it's more in the front of the um, greater trochanter. Okay, so we're gonna start palpating on the, the uh, gluteus maximus. So in order to, um, which we'll see the, the muscle, um, the action that's going to be um, activating the gluteus muscle, which is the biggest 
muscle in the glutes would be to um, um, extend the hips. So from this position, I'm gonna do a hip extension and then I'm gonna start palpating that area. And right there, I can feel this area over here is already activated. So that's the gluteus maximus. So the origin of the gluteus maximus is um, right on the coccyx, right here um, at the edge of the sacrum, and then posterior iliac crest, the hip bone right here, the arch, that is the ilium, and um, right here on the posterior part of the iliac crest in the sacrotuberous and sacroiliac ligaments. So that's part of the origin of the gluteus maximus. So as the fibers converge down here, inserting into the iliotibial tract, there are two insertions for the gluteus maximus. So one is the iliotibial tract for the upper fibers and the glute gluteal tuberosity for the lower fibers. So the gluteal tuberosity will be right down, down here, down here. And the iliotibial tract would be right up here. Okay, so that's the gluteus maximus. The next muscle that I'm gonna be palpating is the gluteus medius. Now the gluteus medius, when you abduct your hip, so this movement, that's responsible, the muscle responsible for doing it is the gluteus medius. So the origin of the gluteus medius is on the gluteal surface of the ilium. So if this is your ilium, it's right here on the upper arch. And in between the posterior and anterior um, gluteal lines, just below the iliac crest. Right, right here. Since it's responsible for abducting, so it fits on the side if the muscle contracts. So it should be right around here. And it inserts to the lateral aspect of the greater trochanter. Let me just palpate my greater trochanter. Um, right here. Greater trochanter. So from here, all the way down here. The third muscle would be the gluteus minimus. So in order to activate this muscle, we need to abduct the hip again. So same thing with the um, gluteus medius. When you abduct the hip, the gluteus minimus is involved in that. So when we abduct the hip, there you go. So the origin will be on the gluteal surface of the ilium. It's the same origin uh, of the um, gluteus, gluteus minimus. So right, right here. And it inserts on the anterior aspect of the greater trochanter. So if the gluteus minim medius um, inserts on the lateral aspect of the greater trochanter, the gluteal minimus is more anterior on the greater trochanter. Therefore, aside from abducting the hip, it is also responsible for medially, medially rotating the hip.